Hey, welcome to Maximum Bass Speed. Want to do a video for you today on when to start your swing. Now, when it comes to starting your swing, a lot of it's going to depend on how you do your gather, how you, if you have a big leg kick, if you uh, just have a different approach. So this video right here, I'm going to kind of give you an idea what I'm talking about. And I, I know a lot of coaches out there have kind of a set time when you should really start your swing. I tend to differ in that opinion just from my experience working with players and uh, coaching. And I think this video will kind of, uh, again, give you kind of a better idea when to start your swing. And uh, maybe this uh, approach, depending on the player to the left or right, will benefit you. Now, what I recommend for all of you out here is while watching this video to try both methods out, okay? And there's in between. So that's a good thing for a lot of you out there who are struggling with timing, you're behind, or maybe you're out in front of the ball too much. A lot of it's going to depend, again, on your gather, uh, your leg kick, how you transfer your weight, a lot of other variables. But again, hopefully this video will help you. Now, as we get started here, watch what's going on here. And both these pictures are synced up right here. And I'm just going to kind of go through this very slowly so you can kind of see what's going on. You can see here on both sides, again, the pitchers are synced up. They're getting ready to get into their pitch. And now pay attention to the player on the left, first of all, okay? Now we'll go ahead and draw a little circle right here around the, uh, the foot area here. And I'll do the same here because this will kind of give you an indicator of when the actual player starts their swing. So as we go here, Watch what's going on on the left. The player right here on the left, she's already lifting her heel, okay? And you can see this. And again, I'm going to just go by the, go through this slowly on, on both these hitters. And again, the pitcher on the left has not even released her hands from her glove yet. But yet, you will see that the player on the left is already lifting her foot, okay? Now, if we go to the right, again, these players are synced up. You will see that the player on the right still has her foot down okay so you can see here there's obviously two different approaches so far and as we continue to go you can see that the player on the left is continuing to lift her foot and barely now on the left the pitcher is starting to release the, the ball from her glove and so is the pitcher on the right but yet the player on the right still has her foot down okay so again you can see here that it's obvious that both these players are starting at two very different times, okay? And a lot of this, again, it's going to depend on the, on the hitter. It's going to depend on your gather, whether you have a smooth gather or whether you have kind of an approach where you kind of lift your foot and immediately you start working towards the pitcher, or you might have a very big leg kick where you're actually getting into your back hip socket a little longer and letting your body transfer back maybe two or three inches where the player on the right, it's hard to tell from this angle, she might just be lifting her leg and immediately as she does that, her body transfers forward, okay? And I've done videos on this and if you go to my website, I'm sorry, to my YouTube channel, you will find that there's different ways and to simplify your gather and that will again also determine when to start your swing so back to this video here watch what's going on here again these these pictures are synced up and you can see now that the hitter on the left she has a really big leg kick right there where the player on the right still has not even lifted her foot at all now way at this point right here you can see here on the right look on the right on the player on the right's left foot you can see here that barely now at this stage of the swing she's barely now starting to lift her heel off the ground getting ready to get into the pitch. Now we're on the player on the left. She's very much loaded. You can tell she's back in her back hip socket and the player on the right. She also is at this stage as well because her body's going to start working forward. But again, in regards to when to start your swing, you can see that it's very obvious that both these players right here started their swings at two very different times in the swing. Now, again, I'm doing this in slow motion. So 
the difference between the player on the left as far as how much time is very, very minimal. But that very minimal amount of time can make a huge difference in you as a player, whether you're going to get solid contact or not. Now, as we continue to go here, watch what's going on here. You can see here, and I'm going to go ahead and erase this where the circle was, you can see that both of them are getting to toe touch, okay? Both of these players are getting to toe touch pretty much identically at the same time, and they're both getting to heel plant pretty much identically at the same time, even though they both had a different style, a different approach, and a different timing in which, in which they started their swing. So right here, you can see they're both at heel plant, they're starting to rotate their hips, their bats sh shallowing out. They're really good playing, both these players here. And you can see here, they're pretty much both get to the point of contact almost identically. Yet again, they started at two very separate times. So what can you get away from this video? Now, again, my suggestion for all of you out there would be when you're taking batting practice, if you are on deck, okay, I would definitely work on keeping an eye on what the pitcher's doing and pay attention to when the pitcher releases the ball and try both these methods where for you, you might be the kind of player on the left where because you have a bigger leg kick, you might have to start a little earlier or if you can be like the player on the right where you might end up just having a very simplistic kind of a gather where you kind of move your body forward and if you try to do what the player on the left is doing, you're going to get your foot down too early and you're going to not have that momentum where you get into that toe touch, he'll plan immediately the contact approach, which is going to deprive you of additional power. It's going to uh, uh, deprive you of that fluidness that players have at this level. Now, again, this video right here, as you can see, it's very obvious that they both started at different times. And again, my suggestion for you is when you're on deck, when you're taking batting practice, whether you're working with a parent, a coach, a co-player, try both these methods. And you will find that if you use this approach, okay, to use for your timing, for your hitting, you will find that you will find a very close of an area in which the player releases, the player releases their, uh, their, the ball, which will help you tremendously in regards to your timing. Now, a lot of it's going to depend, again, on also the velocity of the pitcher, okay? The pitcher might be uh, very fast or she might be a very slow pitcher, okay? It just depends. So, but again, the more you understand the way a pitcher releases the ball, when, the velocity, what you're doing when you're on deck, all this stuff matters. And I hope this video right here is helpful to you. I really think it will be. Again, I use this as an indicator for my own students that I've worked with that kind of look at what I'm telling you to look at here. Please give me a like if you enjoyed this video. And also I do online video analysis. Again, subscribe to my channel. There, I have over 100 videos that I think will be very helpful. Again, please give me a like and 